Hey guys, Mr. Kia, making my much awaited return to YouTube and reviews and combat arms and all of that stuff. Um, before I get too far into this review, I just want to let you guys know that this is the first one I've done on my laptop. And my graphics card on my laptop, like my good graphics card in it, uh, it's a gaming laptop, uh, has been playing up. So I'm using my standard graphics card, and that only gives me 30 FPS when I'm frapsing. So you'll notice me lagging a whole ton in this match. And I was only. Um, I'd only been playing two matches prior to this in the last six months, so I was a bit rusty. I'm kind of used to Modern Warfare 3 at the moment and the MK46 and all that. So getting back into combat arms and the movement of the players and the guns and the different tactics and stuff was... Uh, it, it took getting used to, but I picked it up again pretty fast after this after this match when I stopped frapsing and I wasn't lagging like a bitch. Um, I don't know what it says on the left there. There's like red writing just come up. Anyways, so yes, I've been gone for a few months. I did get all my stuff back, but I've been caught up with work, like just getting smashed with hours or absolutely no hours, and I've been busy, you know, socializing, trying to have a life outside of combat arms. Um, really got into Modern Warfare 3, and then all the hackers started coming out on the PS3, so it's like fuck that shit now, and back to combat arms where there's actually less hackers surprisingly um, so all up uh, this review is going to be on the CZ805 as you can see it's the primary gun I'm using at the moment um, <laughs> this is one of the few times I actually hit 90 FPS in this game otherwise I was pretty much on 30 to 60 FPS it was horrible um, so yeah, I will be doing reviews. They're not going to be as frequent as they used to be. I know I've said I'm coming back a couple of times, but I'm actually back now. This review will be up. Well, actually it is up because you guys are watching it. <laughs> I'm going to try to do one review a week. Um, when I am at home, I am going to be on Common Arms every couple of nights. So make sure you guys add me. Um, tune in to the Facebook page and let me know what review you guys want next. Uh, I've got to learn about all the new stuff in Common Arms that's come in in the last few months. Like Common Arms has just changed drastically. you got all these new abilities and... Um, the new maps and fire teams and game modes and that. I want to get back into doing some DTs. I want to actually, some of you guys remember me talking about a DT tutorial quite a while ago. I still have some of the footage from that, but I want to go and refilm all that footage and do a proper DT tutorial at some point. Um, epic lag spike right there. Anyways, enough history and enough stuff for what's coming in the future. Let's get down to this gun. So the CZ805 is an NX standard weapon. It's, uh... Purchased from the black market for 900 NX for one day up to 11,900 for uh, 90 days. It's uh, no longer available for permanent, as with most guns now. Um, so the damage on the gun, statistically, is sitting at... Uh, hold on, I've got to get my stats page up. I forgot to get this up before I did the review. Um, well... Firstly, from my personal feeling about the gun for uh, for its damage, is it's it's pretty basic. It's not like you know putting out a G36 or something. It's not putting out like a scar. It's pretty generic damage. Um, so it's nothing to get too excited about when you're finding it on the ground. It's not like you know picking up Baron's uh, M416 or something. Uh, it's not one of the best guns by any stretch of the imagination. Don't get me wrong, it is an old, it's an alright gun. It's got 39 damage. That's it. It's got 39 damage. Um, portability is at 66, so again, it's pretty average portability. Uh, it's a bit sluggish, like I had on my speed gear. And while I had on a utility backpack, like it still slowed me down considerably. Uh, I'd much rather pull out an M416 than this gun, but I'm not going to compare it to the other guns. There's nothing you can actually compare this to. It has no... Um, uh, no different variations of it, it's just a standard gun, CZ805, that's it, there's no NX Rare version, there's no GP Standard version, um, nothing like that, it's just a one-off standalone gun, it only has an automatic firing mode, so it's not all that crash shot when it comes to being able to do the burst fire and that, because personally I think burst fire on this gun would be good, um, that's just because of the, the spread on the gun and the recoil kind of zigzag side to side and upwards, so it can be difficult to control. I actually had to leave the game and come back in just there because my graphics were 
lagging me so bad. Um, yeah, the recoil can be a bit hard to control medium to long range, but when you tap fire, it is pretty dead accurate, uh, medium to short range. Uh, aim high and you'll pretty much always get a headshot. I got so many headshots with this weapon, it was unbelievable. Um, I actually managed to get an unbelievable with this gun, I think the match after this, or the match after the match after this as well, so it it's got a uh, it's got a sluggish reload too. It's a bit slow in the reload, but it's it's fast enough that you can pick back up and um, continue with a kill streak. So it's good in that respect. Um, again, yeah, the portability is one of the major drawbacks to this weapon. It's not one of the the highest portable guns. Um, accuracy when it comes to short to medium range is great. Right here, you can see you know aiming for that little gap above the box, and I hit it by tap firing. Uh, a bit later in this match, I think I'm at the other end of the catwalk in the generator room and I'm shooting down to that corner trying to headshot the guy above the crate and it just wasn't connecting. There was just, I don't know whether it was due to lag or whether it was due to the fact that the gun becomes inaccurate after that medium distance. Um, it just, yeah, it just wasn't doing the job for me there. Um, but yeah, all up to, it's, it's an alright gun, I guess. Um, by all means, it's better than like your standard low rank gun. So if you do happen to stumble across one and you're carrying just an M16 or a M4A1 or something, this is a lot better. Um, it's rate of fire 75. It's got a very fast rate of fire um, from memory of past assault rifles. Um, and its drawback to that is that he run through the ammo quite fast. So you've just got a standard 90 ammo clip, 30 rounds per clip. And it's, uh, yeah, the reload on it does take that extra bit of time, but it is fast enough that you can pick up your kill streak again. Uh, statistically, the uh, rate of fire is 75 and the accuracy is 80, which, as I said, you know, it is pretty accurate at the short to medium range. Uh, right here is where I'm trying to headshot the guy just above the crate, and it's just not doing it for me. Um, I think I get killed from the side in a sec, because I hear footsteps, so I'm like, oh, there's someone up here. And... Oh no, it's not there. Okay. It's a bit later in the match. Um, and the recoil's at 64, so it's pretty standard recoil as well. As I said, it's a very standard gun. It's nothing really fancy to ride home about. You know, it's not something I'm going to go get excited. Oh, I found this on the ground. Cool, I'm going to use it. As I said, if you're carrying a crap weapon, by all means, pick this up. Because it's going to be better than um, a lot of the GP standard guns against an NX gun. So, just straight away, it's better. Um, ah, I tried to knife that guy too, and it, yeah, I got killed from behind. Um, I definitely recommend putting an eye tech scope on. Again, I always recommend the eye tech scope. I hate the ACOG. It scopes in just a bit too far for my liking, and it blurs all the outside, so you can't see what's around you. I like the eye tech because I can still see if someone's coming from the side or whatever. Um, and I guess the eye tech kind of you. You gotta get used to not scoping in as much, but still being accurate. It does take a, a bit of practice to get used to. Even on Modern Warfare 3, I was using the iTech scope. I just I didn't like the ACOG. Um, yeah, so it's only got an automatic firing mode. A three burst would probably improve this weapon if it had that feature because you're gonna get that um, the accuracy that you really, really do need for that medium to long range if you could do a three shot burst, but unfortunately you're stuck with auto and tap firing. Um, so yeah, there's, there's not really much else to say about this. I, I wouldn't recommend going out and getting a perm. Get it for a day and see if you like it. You know, just have a bit of fun with it, play with it for a bit, but I'm pretty sure you'd most likely get bored of it within the first, you know, five or so matches. It's It hasn't really got that much to offer. Um, the visual design of the gun is pretty standard as well, just grey and black. So it kind of resembles a SCAR um, in its design a bit, but it performs nowhere near the level of the SCAR. Um, actually, that's one thing I miss about Modern Warfare, is that little scope on the very end of the gun there. I wish you could scope in with that, just the standard default scopes the guns come with, instead of having to always purchase a scope. It's the one drawback to combat arms. Oh, uh, <laughs> I should do a review on combat arms. That would be interesting. 
Um, you'll find I won't complain about hackers anywhere near as much now after playing Modern Warfare 3 either. Um, that Holy crap. I have no idea where I just got picked off for. <laughs> um, the guys that were reversing this too are really good. Ah, uh, shit. I can't remember who I was reversing. Uh, I'll put them in the description or something. These guys are really cool if you ever get a chance to play with them. Um, oh, we're having a good old time in this match. Many laughs. Uh, holy crap. <laughs> um, so yeah, go out, give the gun a try, but don't go and get it permanent. It's really not worth it. There are plenty of other better guns out there. Um, oh, you bastard. But yeah, that's really it for this gun. It's... It's good, it's standard, it's generic, it's the CZ805. Enough said. Um, I'm going to possibly open up an epic weapon this week too. I don't think I've done a review on Baron's M416, so I'll try and get that out of the way later this week. Um, if you guys want me to do any review in particular, go to my Facebook page, Mystic Reviews, and tell me what review you guys want. And yes, I'm officially back to combat arms, guys. As you know, next time we stole all my stuff, and it's back to just the way it used to be. Um, Evolution's still around. I don't know who actually stole the Evolution clan name. I don't really care. We have Nude now. Never underestimate their Evolution. So feel free to um, send an application if you meet our requirements, which I'll also put in the description below. Um, I'm not sure how active we're going to be. Because I know like most of our founding members, like Carlos and Nick and... Dylan and all that, we've all moved on to other things, whether it be Minecraft or Modern Warfare or, I don't know, I think Nick plays Black Ops for some stupid reason. Um, we've all moved on to better things. I've got, like, an extremely active social life, so I pretty much finish work and then head straight out with friends or my girlfriend or something, so not home that much, but when I am, I will be on Combat Arms, guys. Um... This video has like another five minutes to go and I have really no idea what to talk about. Um, so yeah, um, nearly at 2,000 subscribers as well. I think I'm at 1,700 last time I looked. So once we hit the 2,000 mark, we'll be doing a competition to give away... Oh, I don't know what, but I'll think of something. Probably a perm gun or something like that. Something decent. Um... Yeah, I really don't know what else to talk about, guys. But uh, thank you to everyone who's stuck by me through these last few months with Nexon spending ages to, you know, give back all the weapons and stuff. Um, again, another big thank you to Nexon for actually doing that. Uh, according to a message I received from them, it is the first time in history that has ever happened. So I feel very lucky about that. Um, one thing I want to know, guys, what is with all these hackers? I, I said I wasn't going to bitch about hackers, but one thing I've noticed is that Dirty Doodah is still around. Facial abuse has been banned and unbanned several times since I've been gone. And Pink Floyd got banned and unbanned. What is Nexon doing? Why do these people keep becoming unbanned when they keep hacking time and time again? Can someone, like, fill me in on, you know, who are these major hacking clans now? Who do you have to avoid in combat arms? You know, I can't remember. Forever, Legacy, that number one hacking clan, whatever. Are they still around? Are they still playing, you know? What's their name now? Who uh like last time I was playing Grateful Dead was number one in the in the game and now we've got like twelve general of the armies or something. I thought there was only meant to be one. You know, is this stuff that Nexon's working on or is it just the same old, same old yeah. Nexon will get to it in a few months, not really tell us about it. People get pissed off and rage, I lost my GOA rank, rah rah rah. You know. That's classic Nexon, but you know, what's happening guys? Fill me in, what have I missed out on in the last six months? Because, you know, Six months of gameplay to catch up on. So, yeah. Also, I'm clearing out my friends list on Combat Arms. Probably only going to be about six people left on it by the time I finish doing that. So if you've added me on Combat Arms and you want me on Combat Arms, by all means, send me a friend request uh, when you see this video because you'll probably be removed if I haven't played a game with you in the last you know, couple of weeks so I don't remember you or you've had a name change and I don't know who you are and I don't recognize you. So by all means, add me back on Combat Arms. Uh, I do apologize if I delete you and you added me for a reason. You know, I do accept everyone, so feel free to add me, um, and I apologize if I move you, but it's just because, you know, my list is just a mess. It's got, like, a couple of hundred people on it who I have no idea who they are. Um, you guys should have seen, actually, I should have recorded it. When I logged back into Common Arms for the first time in about four months, I was sitting here for 45 minutes accepting friend requests. It was insane. Um, I actually had to take a break and go take a piss. 
because it just took so long. I, was, I, was, I debated putting uh, fraps on halfway through, but I just it would have missed out on most of it. Because I knew that the second I put fraps on, I would have gotten up to like, the last three friend requests, and it would have just been a complete waste of time. Anyways, guys, I will be doing um, shout outs in the next review. I'm not going to do them in this one because I just really can't be fucked. <laughs> it's actually really painful to talk at the moment. I have a really painful wisdom tooth at the bottom right of my jaw, and it's driving me insane. And that's why I'm not at work at the moment. So I shouldn't even be talking, but I promised you guys to get this review out today, and I want to get that out for you guys. Um, again, go into my Facebook page. Let me know what. Whoa, what the? F oh, is that? Um, let me know what review I should do next. Whether it should be an epic weapon, an item, a map. And by the way, that new map is actually fucking insane. That uh, rural estate one. I, I remember when I was playing Common Arms, like pretty much religiously. And that they had that competition. That was like seven or eight months ago, and it's only just come out. I would have thought that would have come out quite a long time ago. Um, and yeah, guys. So any pointers you can give me on like what's happened in the last six months and kind of catch me up to speed on what's happened would be greatly appreciated. Whether that's in the comments and private messages or Facebook or whatever. Remember, guys, I read every comment and every message you guys send me, so I eventually get through them when I'm at work, sitting around bored, just open my emails and flick through them all. Um, so now I get the fun task of still trying to track down my external hard drive with my opening video because I've done the voicing for this, but I have no idea where my hard drive's gone. I think it's in the back of my car somewhere, so I'm going to go look for that in a minute. This video's got like a minute left and then the review's over so thank you guys for sticking by me I am back now I'm sorry I left you guys but you know call my arms got hacked got my stuff back but still have my social life stuff and I've just found time to juggle everything now so I am back guys can't wait to play with you all giggity I mean that in every sexual way and except if you're 12 years old if you're 12 years old please get off my arms no I'm kidding uh, just don't use your microphone <laughs> Um, oh, and what is with the freaking 12 year olds on Modern Warfare 3 with microphones? Sorry, bitching about Modern Warfare. Anyways, guys, hope you enjoyed the review, and stay tuned for In a Nutshell. <laughs> so I nearly forgot about the In a Nutshell part of this review. Um, in a Nutshell, guys, the CZ805 is very generic. It's got 39 damage, 66 portability, 75 rate of fire, 80 accuracy, so it's really only good for medium short range, um, and recoil is 64, and it's only got an automatic firing mode, it doesn't have the 3 burst shot that some guns do. If it had 3 burst, this gun would be actually a lot better. Um, the accuracy and the recoil, well sorry, the spread goes up and down and side to side, so it can be difficult to control. Make sure you tap fire with this weapon. I do recommend putting an iTech scope on, as always. Um, sluggish portability it does slow you down quite a bit. Rate of fire is uh, 75. It actually seems really fast from the start rifle. Again, that could just be coming from the fact I haven't played in a few months. Um, damage is alright. Uh, the reload is just fast enough that you can actually uh, still pick up a kill streak after you reload. Uh, which I did find out a couple of games after this review when I got an unbelievable with it. Fuck yes. And, yeah guys, very generic, very standard. I wouldn't go out and buy it for 90 days. You've really, really got to actually be really passionate about this gun if you really want it for 90 days. So, try it for a day, pick it up off the ground by all means. Give it a try, you might have a bit of fun with it for a while, but I'm pretty sure you guys will get bored of this gun pretty, pretty quickly. Um, stick to the M416s and the SCARs and even... I never thought I'd say this, but the org is probably a bit better than this gun. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this review. That was the CZ805 in a nutshell. Yes, we say Z in Australia, not Z. We speak correctly. Ha! And, um, yeah, guys, new review next week.